So you have a job offer on the table from a company that employs developers, but the job offer that you have is not for development. Should you take it? This question has come up a couple of times in recent live streams, and I've come up with some answers on the fly, but I've really had more time to think about it and come up with like a really cohesive response. So a couple of examples that I've heard over the past weeks about people being offered jobs at companies that are tech companies, but not development roles are someone got a like QA automation testing position, and then someone else got sort of a design position, and they wanted to know if they take those positions, can they transition to be a developer at that same company in the future, and what it's going to mean for them in their development career. So my first question to you is, does the company that you have a job offer from know that you actually want to be a developer? Or did you apply to a different job and that's the job offer that you got? If they know that you want to be a developer, you applied to a development role and they saw other skills that you had and they offered you something a little bit different, then I would be very upfront with them and ask them, hey, is this a stepping stone to a job as a developer in three or six or uh, 12 months? How long is it going to take me to actually move into the role that I really want. And if the company has no idea that your eventual goal is to be a developer, then you're starting off on the wrong foot when it comes to it being a stepping stone. You can try to make them aware of it after you have the offer, but you should really be upfront about that in the beginning. Okay, so let's assume that the company that you have an offer for knows that you wanna be a developer and they're open to that idea sometime in the future. Should you take that job or should you continue searching for a development gig like right now? And the answer to that question is really, really complicated. If the job isn't an upgrade over what you're doing now, if it doesn't pay you more money or have better benefits or afford you more time to learn development on the side to become a better developer and transition into that role for that company or another company in the future, then I would suggest not taking the role. Remember, your goal here isn't to find a different job that happens to be in tech. Your goal here is to become a developer. Now, if the job is an upgrade to what you're doing right now, or if you aren't doing anything and you need money, then by all means, feel free to take that position with one caveat. And that caveat is that you need to be really, really honest with yourself and you need to set up a plan. That plan is going to need to include how long you're willing to stay at that job as a non-developer and an exit strategy for when you hit that time and you're not a developer yet. Come up with a timeline and set a goal and set a reasonable goal if you've asked how long it would take you to transition and they tell you three or six or 12 months, then that's what your goal should be. You want to take the company up on their word and you wanna say in six months, I'm going to have a development gig at this job. Now, not all companies are going to be completely truthful with you in the beginning or maybe they are truthful in that moment, but things have changed over the course of six months and you're not in that role yet. And that's fine, but what you need to do on the other side is to have an exit strategy in place for when that time frame kind of ends. And here is where the honesty bit comes in. You need to make sure that you don't get stuck that you don't get trapped in a job that is not your ultimate goal. Now, if you get into a job and you get into a role like testing or QA and you really love it and your career path shifts, your career goals shift, that's fine. But if you're setting out a job that you don't necessarily enjoy or you enjoy but you know you enjoy development more, then don't get stuck in that rut because it's a good enough job. That's where the honesty comes in. Tell yourself that you want to be a developer and that you're going to be a developer. And that way it gives you a better ability to cut ties with a company that you thought was going to be a good opportunity, but that doesn't pan out that way. You also need to make sure your time at this job doesn't hinder your ability to be a developer. Make sure you're still coding on the side, or if you can get involved with the developers at work, either by sitting in on meetings or anything like that, by all means, take up those opportunities. You want to make sure that you're still a developer six months from now so that you can actually get a job in development. The absolute hardest thing about getting your first development job is being noticed in a stack of resumes or a stack of cover letters or a stack of portfolios. Already being employed at a company that hires developers gives you a leg up if a development job were to come open when you're there. The people already know you, they already know that you're a culture fit, and they can see what skills you have and how you fit in with the team and how you get along. All of those things are a really good stepping stone to getting that first job in development, and it makes it a lot easier than just being some random person on the street applying with a resume cover letter and GitHub profile. With that being said though, we're all humans and we can all get stuck in a rut, and that is one risk of taking a job that's not in development but could lead to a developer job in the future, is that if things do change, like I said before, if things happen and you don't have that role that you want down the road, you need to be able to cut ties and say bye. 
And there should be no hard feelings about that. It's just business. It's just your career. It's just your career goals. And those come first before any random company that you happen to work for that signs your paycheck. So I guess what I'm trying to say here is don't be afraid of taking a job that doesn't have the job title that you want at a company that can get you the job title that you want. But you should also be mindful of the fact that it's really easy to get stuck in those kind of positions and you have to make sure that you decide that you're not going to be the person who gets stuck. You're going to reach your goals. You're going to be a developer and you're going to do it really, really soon with this company's help or not. I hope that all made sense, and if you have any more questions or comments or ideas about this particular topic, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell to be notified to follow me along in my journey through this crazy world of web development. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.